Okay, here's my dashboard. And go add shipping, go to items. I already have a shipping flat rate right here, $4. You go to the top. Well, it's already an item library. And then click create item. And type in shipping flat rate. I'm just writing test. What are you telling? I'm making a video. I said don't talk. <laughs> And then put the price right here. I used to do 245, but then added to four because most people do between three and five. Just because we pay shipping twice. Then you can click to take sales tax off of shipping or click to leave it so it taxes shipping. There's argument to which one is better. I don't tax shipping. So I unclick this, then hit save at the bottom, and then get out of here. And then see now they're both here. My test one I just made and my original one, where you can see I unclicked the thing. Um, to add discounts, you would click right here, and I have these dis discounts set in, in my app. I have a 10% off. I have the birthday club, which I haven't announced yet, which is 15% off. Um, hostess sales, 10, 20, and 30. And those are automatically on my app now. So like the other day, when I was giving people 15% off for lipstick day, it actually showed up as birthday club, but it didn't matter because it still took 15% off. Okay, and then the invoices are right here. You click invoices and they all pop up. The invoice number, the date I sent it, I always title them that. Customer name, paid, not paid. Now if you want to resend one, like this lady, I could click it and I can resend it and it sends her a notification. I don't want to do that because I'm going to see her. You can edit it, you can cancel it. Print it. Now, what doesn't show up on this invoice screen is when you swipe a card on your card reader on your phone. These are just the one I sent as manual invoices. And actually, I don't know where to see the ones where you just swipe. I'll have to look that up. 